Good morning, class. I was just uh, making this little video so that the ones of you that are at home, sick, or not going to be able to come to school today, won't be too far behind. So today we're going to talk about systems of equation word problems. And before we talked about systems of equations and elimination method and the graphing method and the substitution method. But those problems always had two equations and we just had to figure out which method worked best to solve it. Now we're going to have word problems. And these word problems is how you'll see systems of equations on like the ACT or any standardized test you have, okay? So first we're just going to read the question. It says the admissions fee at the small fair is $1.50 for children and $4 for adults. On a certain day, 2,200 people entered the fair and 5,050 was collected. How many children and how many adults attended the fair? Okay, so that seems pretty straightforward, but first off, does it think, do you think about that we have to use a system of equation? Okay, that's the, that's the tricky part about systems of equations is sometimes we read problems and we're like, okay, let's solve this, but we don't know where to start. And when it gives you two separate variables, so here we've got dollars and we have people, that's when you need to think about, okay, maybe I need to use a system of equation to solve this. But today we're going to use a tool that you've used in your other classes, like your history teacher told me you used this and your English teacher told me you've used this before. It's called a KWL chart. And some of you all love them and some of you all don't. But hopefully, in math, you'll love them. So KWL. The K stands for what do you know? The W stands for what do you want to know, and the L stands for what you learn. So under the K column, we're going to write down everything we know about this problem. So first it says the admissions fee at the small fairs. Okay, so we are at the fair. That's the first thing we learn. Then it says it's $1.50 a child. So $1.50. And I'm going to put C there, and over here I'm going to put... So over here, I'm going to put children, and I'm going to put children as C, and adults is A, okay? Anytime you use variables, you need to identify those, okay? So that's what I've done over here. So now we have $4 an adult. This is $1.50 a child, $4 an adult. Then it says on a certain day, there's 2,200 people that attend the fair and they make five thousand and fifty dollars okay what we want to know is how many children and how many adults attended okay and our learn is going to be our answer so what do we know we know that we're at a fair we know it's a dollar fifty a child it's four dollars an adult it's two thousand two hundred people and it's five thousand and fifty dollars on that certain day that the two thousand two hundred people were there we need to know how many children and how many adults attended that day okay so now let's set this up as a system of equation. When I think of systems of equations, I think all of my dollars are going to go together and all of my people or my attendance is going to go together. So if I put a dollar fifty for my children plus four dollars for every adult that attended, that should give us the total amount they collected at the fair because they didn't give us any other um, money terms. They just said that's what the attendance was. Then we go to people. We know the total is 2,200 people. But they didn't tell us anything else. So we know there was children that attended and we know there was adults that attended. Okay? So now I've set this up and does it look like a system of equation? I hope you say yes, okay? 
and we've got to figure out a method of solving this. Well, I'm going to solve it by the uh, elimination method, okay? So I'm going to multiply everything in the bottom by negative $1.50. Okay? So now this all becomes the top equation stays the same. So 150C plus 4A equals 5050. And the bottom will say negative 150C plus negative 150A equals, well, we've got to figure out what 2000. 200 times negative 1.5 is. 2,200 times negative 1.5, and that's 3,300, so negative 3,300. If you go back to your foldable, we know now we just add these columns straight down. So our C's will cancel. When we add four plus a negative 150, so 4 plus negative 150 is 250A equals the total amount that it's ended. So 550 subtract 3,300, that is a 1750, okay? Now, we want A by itself because that will tell us how many adults. So we're going to divide by 250. 250. So A is around 700, okay? So that tells us there are 17, 700 adults that attended. We plug that back in. We're going to say C plus 700. We have to plug it back into an original equation. Equals 2,200. Subtract the 700. So we have C equals... 1,200, subtract 700, 1,500 children. And if you look at that, you're like, whoa, a lot of children attended, but it's a fair. So most adults take more than one child to the fair, okay? So what did we learn? We learned that at the fair, on a particular day, there were 1,500 children and 700 adults.